Um, like I told you, uh, media day, man, I was focused on family um, and doing different things uh, to take care of that aspect. And like I told you last year, um, you know, I like being here. I like where I'm at. Um, you know, I like to see the fans. Um, and I enjoy where I play basketball. And obviously, with the extension, shows that. Um, obviously, um, you know, they made moves to to improve our team and, uh, and being able to play for a championship and being able to play at a high level is something that I want to do every single year and um, th those moves prove that. Uh, you know, I just, just wanted to be a guy that they know that every every single night he, he left it on the floor, man. I think for me that's, uh, you know, all I try to do every single day, every single year, become a better player, find ways and obviously uh, win as many championships as, as I can. Uh, you said a couple of times now that this is the place you want to be going back a few months, but what, when was the time that you actually told the organization like explicitly regarding the extension that you were going to sign? Um, what do you mean, like the day I told them? The, you just asked the same thing you did, but differently. Well, but they, they, That was good, but uh, you know, I just gave the answer. Good try, but... You can, you t can you tell me about the, the moment of you, you telling Sam and, and the I mean, I, I prefer not to, to do that. Um, you know, we have a great relationship, uh, myself and, and Sam, and, you know, we talk about many different things. Um, you know, we, we have a good relationship where we don't have to, you know, make sure that everybody knows when I exactly the time, the date, you know, when I told them. But um, all that matters is that we were on the same page about everything and me um, taking the summer to enjoy um, the things that, you know, I've discussed already. Russ, since your uh, new team, teammates have arrived, uh, Melo and Paul George, they've spoken about how since they've kind of joined the team that it's really nice to be able to just focus on basketball solely. Now that your contract's taken care of, is it nice to be able to kind of join in on that sole focus of just being basketball? Um, I was always, you know, my focus never shifted. I mean, obviously I didn't talk to you guys, so you guys were kind of making up your own assumptions, but my focus never changed. I mean, um, for me, um, you know, Taking my time, family is the most important thing to me, um, and that's what I was focused on. Um, and when it's time to focus on basketball, I do that, and, and that's it. Russ, Russ. Um, uh, Edmond is kind of a special place in your heart. You have your Why Not Bowling Foundation just south of town every year. Um, how is it to come out and have uh, announced this big news at Thunderfest in Edmond? I mean, this is just uh, um, obviously the timing of it and just the timing of everything uh, here in Edmond. This is good just for the fans to be able to come out and enjoy you know, obviously the, the game, but also get an opportunity to be able to um, just enjoy this moment and embrace it as well. Russ, what does it mean to you, just the fans, just backing off of that, fans coming out here to support you? Seems like everybody's, this is your city, you know Yeah, what I'm I mean, saying? it's just uh, unbelievable, you know, it's just, uh, I'm truly honored and blessed. Uh, like I said, it's just uh, something that you can't, you know, you can't make up, you can't, you know, re reenact uh, the people here, they're genuine, um, you know, they, Truly, obviously, um, you know, love me, love the team, and you know they, they stay strong to that, and that's something that uh, you don't find many places. Russell, just since May, you've you've had a son, you won the MVP, you published a book, you signed the richest contract in the history of the NBA. How, how do you think you're gonna look back at 2017? Um, I don't know, man. You just you just you just give all the thanks to the men upstairs. I really can't. Um, you know, I never know, you know, what's going to happen, how it's going to happen, but, um, you know, I, I continue to, to pray and be thankful and honored to be in the position I, I'm in every single day. I don't take anything for granted, um, and I constantly keep moving forward and trying to figure out how I can improve as a person, as a player, and, and as a father. With this long-term contract, does this show that you want to be a Thunder for your career and get that banner, and also championship banner, and also get your jersey in the rafters here? Yeah, I mean, all that stuff is always uh, in the play when, you, when you're uh, in one place for, for a long time. But all I can do, man, is take it day by day. Um, and that's kind of how I always, you know, looked at everything, just taking it one day at a time and attacking that day and uh, constantly trying to find ways to, to improve, you know, anything that I'm doing. Hey, Russ, how excited are you to not be able to answer contract questions anymore? Oh, I was going, it wasn't, I wasn't worried. <laughs> See, that's, that's, that's what I keep trying to tell. I wasn't really worried about it because... I know where I wanted to be. I wasn't, it didn't, you know, obviously with the time and everything, you know, that's a part of the, the, the job, but I wasn't really worried, man. I was really just focusing on just being at home and embracing that time. 
Russ, when you watch that tribute video up on stage, are you able to kind of reflect at all just your journey, your career, and what it's taken just to get to the point that you're at now? Uh, definitely, man. That's, that's um, I think for you to be able to move forward, you always have to reflect and kind of see where you began to, to kind of where you're at to kind of improve on um, the things you want to do and, and get better. Um, and obviously looking at that video, uh, you just see over the years, just the, the good times, the bad times, and uh, the kind of where we are now. It's, uh, it's a truly, truly amazing and good, and uh, obviously a, a great journey. Kirk, if I'm wrong, was that Ray at the end of the video that was doing Yeah, the Ray narrative? was talking the whole time. My brother was doing the, the narrative uh, the whole time, so he's going to become the new Morgan Freeman of uh, Oklahoma. <laughs> Was that a surprise video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we uh, they talked about doing a video um, and kind of seeing, but uh, I didn't know how, how my brother was sound on the voice over, but he, he, did, a, he, did, a, he did, a, did a good job, so. Russell, so you're always talking about Ray and your, and your parents yeah. and all that, and like Brett mentioned, just the, you know, the million things that have happened to you this summer. What What's your family been like during that process? Oh, uh, right with me. Um, that's the most important thing to me. Uh, my wife, my son, my brother, my mom, and my dad, they, they're there um, every time um, that I'm doing something, we're doing it together. Um, and for me, that's just how it is, whether it's MVP, whether it's going to, you know, book signings, whatever it was, um, you know, the birth of my child, everybody, everybody's a part of everything, and you know, that's the way I think it should be. Russ, I want to know, how many diapers have you changed since you signed this contract? Man, since, I mean, I've been changing diapers since day one. <laughs> I changed that break, Give you a break because you sound No, no, my wife not hearing none of that. No breaks. Russell, um, Sam told us that you had the PRP injection. I just wanted to get your thoughts on how that's going. And, and did you consult with anyone, uh, any former teammates or current teammates? Because I think Alex has had it. Reggie Jackson's the guy who's going through it. Uh, going well. Going well. Russ, can you just talk about watching the, the team change? Uh, over the off season, just how you uh, were impressed with what Sam was able to do and what he was able to put together. Uh, Sam is always, um, you know, he, he he takes pride in his job and what he's doing, and he's done an amazing job. You know, uh, ever since he's been here in Oklahoma City, to find a way just to build our team, build put up the city, uh, the community, and he's uh, him and Mr. Bennett. Um, you know, uh, do an amazing job of of making sure that you know us as players can just worry about basketball, and they've been doing that uh, since I've been here. Two more guys. Russell, uh, where do you feel you are in, in the process of coming back to the court? Oh, I'm good, bro. I'm good. When I be back, you will see. Ready, last what, one. What is it about Sam that allows you guys, from a personality standpoint, that allows you guys to have you know, like a 10 year relationship now that, that's gone just so strong? Being straightforward. When, you, when you're honest and straightforward with somebody and you can just talk to them like a normal person. I mean, he's, you know, basically been here to see me grow up. I was 18 years old. and. I'm 28, so it's just, you know, creating a relationship over time and uh, just creating uh, just honest and open open communication is always key. Thank you, Russell. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs>